You know, that's why the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yasha, hates and despises Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right, so now let's go back to the book of Job, the book of Job, the 18th chapter, all right, and the fifth verse, okay? Yea, the light of the wicked, the Edomites, the so-called white man, shall be put out. They're the ones that control this power. It says in Job 9, 24, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, the Edomites, the so-called white man, the so-called Caucasians, all right, by way of the gun, by way of the sword, by way of their carnal technologies gain control of the planet earth through wickedness all right so they they own the earth right now all right everybody adheres and follows the ways of the so-called white man all right but their ways all right but their ways are going to be put out all right their 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 ways all right their thoughts their understanding their knowledge all right is is all going to be put to shame it's going to be put out Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. So this is what the scriptures mean when the scriptures talk about, O Lucifer, how art thou fallen from heaven? Isaiah, the 14th chapter. All right. You know, let's get that as a matter of fact. All right. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse Isaiah chapter 14. All right. And verse 5, the Lord, Yahweh, all right, Bashem Yahweh Shai has broken the staff of the wicked. A staff symbolizes, all right, a scepter, which is an instrument of rulership to represent that, A, hey, I'm the king, I have rulership. So the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai has broken the rulership of the wicked, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, as we've proven, and the scepter, showing you that I'm not making it up, of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, the so-called white man, all right, he's all coming with all these mandates, all the things that he's done in the past, transatlantic slave trade, sub-Saharan slave trade, and, you know, all these things that he's done in the past, the, you know, the Greek captivity that our people went through, our people went through all these different captivities from all these other nations, all right, we had to suffer all these things at the hands of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He smote us with a with a continual stroke, and he's still doing it to these to this day with all these taxes and all this modern day life that we're living in. All right, it says, "He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. He, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing." All right. So once the so-called white man is taken down. The whole earth is going to be at rest and is quiet. Like the scriptures say that the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. All right. You have videos of animals, whether they be sea animals, whether they be, you know, uh, pigeons, whether they, you know, whether they be birds, you know, whether they, you know, be rock doves and, you know, so on and so forth across all these different, you know, countries of the world. All right. We see all these different, you know, animals. Okay. All right, we see all these different animals. All right, they they all dance and they and they sing to 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 so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. All right, why? Because we're the Israelites, we're the people of the Lord. They're waiting for us to come back into power and into rulership. So, like the scriptures say, even the trees rejoice at thee, and that's in the next verse. All right, so everything. All right, on the earth. The whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. The trees communicate to each other, all right, on a frequency that we can't reach right now, all right. But they they do talk and communicate to each other, all right. And when and, and when one tree gets cut down, the other tree actually mourns for for that other tree. But the so-called white man is is going to keep up with the deforestation. He's going to keep up fucking shit up. So a hey, Everything, once he's taken down, is going to rejoice. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. All right, with his stupid, you know, logging industry, man. It says, Hell from beneath is moved for thee. All right. It says, the, the word hell means the grave underground, a bad condition, or a low estate played out on the planet earth. Okay, so a, a bad condition and a low estate from beneath, all right, a, a low, vile, decrepit estate, all right, of, of, of suffering and torment is coming for uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked, all right, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming 
It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become as weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. All right, so these nations, when because the so-called white man, which is the wicked, has been doing all this, you know, has had all this pompous attitude. All right, he, he's had all this pompous attitude and this bragging, and I'm so much better to look at America's guns, look at our technology, look at what we have. All right, look, you know, we're the strongest military on earth and all these different things, and they boast and brag over everybody else, even these heathen nations. So when the so-called white man is brought down, these heathen nations are going to say like, man, so this same, this same red man that was talking shit about us, he's now, you know, Hey, are, are you guys weak like us now? This, this, this same, these same people that were, you know, talking all this shit, you know, that had all that pompous, all right? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee, okay? All right, and a worm is also known for what? For being defenseless. So these so-called white people, they're going to be defenseless, all right? Their guns and their technology, their carnal technology is going to be brought to naught. All right, by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Now, this is the point that I wanted to get to because we read in the book of Job, the 18th chapter, that what? That um, that the light of the wicked is going to be put out. All right. So this is what the scriptures mean when it says Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Now, contrary to popular belief, Lucifer... All right, is not Satan, uh, the spiritual demon Satan. The word Lucifer, all right, just is a, um, I believe is Latin, all right, is a Latin word, all right, for light bearer, all right, illuminate, illuminated one or light bearer, all right. That's why you have the term Illuminati. The word Illuminati, all right, the word Illuminati, all right, and um, Lucifer is interchangeable because it means light bearer or illuminated one, one who has the light, all right, and and a, a light is what helps you see through darkness, so, so light is also compared to wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, light is also compared to wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, because the proper wisdom, knowledge, and understand, understanding helps you see through all the bullshit, all right, and it actually uh, uh, helps put you on your way and, and, and make you, you know, uh, uh, better, right, so, so, the so-called white man right now who controls and holds power over the earth and, and is teaching the wrong wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, they're going to be brought down, all right? They, they, they're they seen for having all this high knowledge and wisdom and understanding. The Most High said, look, man, um, well, how, how does it go again? Damn, I it just lost my, my memory. Um, Right, the scriptures say that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. So the Most High is going to make these devils fall. And the word heaven means a uh, uh, rulership. It refers to uh, you know rulership, all right, or 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 paradise. So you have the first heaven, which is rulership on the planet Earth, as well as the you know the skies and the upper atmosphere of the planet Earth. Then once you leave the ozone layer, which is the firmament of the planet Earth, you have the second heavens, which is outer space. You know, the galaxies, the clusters, the stars, the nebulas, all right, the rest, the whole rest of the universe, right? And then you have the third heaven, which is a completely different dimension, the spiritual realm, the fourth, the fourth dimension, the third heaven, all right, the place that you, you go to when you die, where, where the heavenly father and the holy angels are, as well as the son of the most high who sits on the right hand side of the heavenly father, all right? And, and, and you, you know, you receive your judgment to, and then you reincarnate on the planet earth in your next life. OK, um, you know, uh, so so th those are the three heavens. This is dealing with the first heaven. All right. The, the, uh, the, the so-called white man. All right. Who's seen with all this wisdom, knowledge and understanding of this world. All right. Who's seen having the power. All right. In this world by way of his carnal technological means and by way of worshiping the spirit, the spiritual demon, Satan, the so-called white man with all this. All these things, all these inventions, all these devices, all these craftiness is going to fall from his rulership. How art thou fallen from ru from rulership, 
O Lucifer, all right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? And also mm -hmm. Lucifer is also talking about us too because it's twofold, all right? We, we wear light because we have this Bible and, and, and the Holy Spirit. We have the word, it's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the ability to teach it and break it down. All right, we're, we're Luciferians too on the right-hand side. We're, we're Luciferians on the right-hand side, you know? All right, why? Because we, we have the proper wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is not foolishness to the Most High, but, but it's, it's, it's pleasing in the sight of the Most High, which is His own word, this Bible, all right, which is going to lead to us being immortal, all right, eternal celestial beings, man, all right, that are infinite in energy and in power, made just exactly unto the likeness of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And those new bodies that are likened unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right, like that Paul speaks about, all right. So we're Lucifer too, but on the right hand side, these Edomites, they're Lucifer on the left hand side, okay. For thou hast said in thine heart, and the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lab, 